The crash test dummies that are used are also extremely important in this research. In the future, I think we will see even more flexible dummies. That is, that it can, it can be uh, used in uh, multiple events, when the car crashes twice maybe, uh, in more slow events, runoff road events. Outside of Sweden, Volvo Car's crash test laboratory has an extremely good reputation and is still classed as one of the best in the world. Traffic safety researcher Professor Adrian Hobbs at Euro NCAP is of the opinion that Volvo produce invaluable knowledge here. If you want to understand about safety, the first thing you have to do is you have to investigate road accidents. Volvo have their own team that investigate accidents. They've got that information. Then with their test facility, they can reproduce the big problems. They can understand about them. They can develop solutions and then they can test them. You need to have the facilities in order to test the cars and test the components. Volvo got an excellent facility for doing that. This is our main test track. So we can take the car and go into the barrier or we can take the car and go into the other car coming from the other test track, or we can reverse this test track and take the car outdoors and do rollover testing. This crash test barrier uh, weighs 850 tons and it's movable on air cushions and we use it to crash cars into it. And it's a very flexible system. Uh, on each end of the barrier here we can actually attach different types of impact barriers like a full rigid barrier like we have here. We can have a deformable front end of another car, we can have poles and we can turn it around and we can move it and we can also move the barrier out of the way when we do the car to car crashes or car to truck crashes. The fact that you can reconstruct any crash situation occurring in the real world, you can learn more and get new questions to address and, and in that way the, uh, the research as well as the uh, product development has evolved over the years. For Volvo cars, traffic safety has always been one of its most important core values and it has no plans to change this strategy in any way. This is an operation that goes through continual development, and even if today's cars are considerably safer than they were only a few years ago, there is always something that can be improved that will make both the car and traffic safer. Another future scenario that we will use this test facility to, which we already do, is to, to uh, test the mitigation prior to a crash uh, braking, pre-braking the, the, the car maybe, or making multiple scenarios where we have an active safety part as well as the passive safety. Combinations of, of those uh, safety aspects is the future. Well, if we look at the past 10 years, we've been taking humble steps every day in building our knowledge and uh, increasing the performance of our safety systems in our, our cars, and that will continue over the coming 10 years and I will think that we will see some breakthrough technologies being put to the market both when it comes to how we can protect when a crash occurs but more importantly how we can prevent crashes from occurring in the first place. So hopefully in a few decades even further uh, this center will be obsolete. <laughs> <laughs>